Hey, what's up guys? I'm back in the garage. Gonna do a quick how-to video for you guys out there that really run these cars hard and happen to have issues with ball joints and need to replace them every season. So I'm not one of those guys. I'm more of a recreational, you know, rider. Uh, but I do need to replace this ball joint due to a defect. Uh, but shout out to the manufacturer. Uh, they made things right for me, so I'm not gonna put the blame on them. Um, some things happen, mass production, it is what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this upper ball joint. I got some OEM ball joints. So um, you're not gonna need a hydraulic press. Um, normally you would take it to the shop, get the ball joint pressed in and out, which involves removing the arm, which I ain't doing, cause that's a big pain in the butt. Uh, have you ever done the arms on one of these Can-Ams? They are not easy. So um, I'm gonna get my ball joint in there without using the hydraulic press or without using the tool. And I'm gonna show you how. We're gonna use a little bit of uh, heat, a hammer, and more importantly, and the main reason that you won't need a hydraulic press is the freezer. You're gonna need some hot pockets. No, actually, you're gonna need the freezer to freeze your ball joint. So that's my OEM ball joint that's been sitting in here for about a day and a half. It doesn't have to sit in here that long. I would say more about three or four hours just to get it nice and cold to the core. But um, I didn't do it yesterday, so now I'm doing it today and I left this guy in here. So removing the ball joint that's in the arm right now isn't too hard. Once you loosen the nut at the very bottom here, you're gonna go ahead and separate the spindle from the arm using a pry bar. And we'll do that now. It is not that hard. You guys can do this in your garage. You don't need a lift, just some jack stands and a jack, and you should be able to get this done in about 30 minutes. Ah, there we go. So actually, uh, not from the front, but from the back side is actually the best way to do it. So as you see there, it broke loose. Um, so we'll go ahead and remove the nut from the bottom and we'll go ahead and start pounding the old ball joint out. All right, once you take the nut off, um, pretty much just pry them apart, pry the lower arm down and the ball joint should uh, come out from the spindle. All right, so the worst thing you could do in this situation is hurt yourself. So in order to avoid that, we're gonna use some uh, vice grips to hold this uh, socket in place while we hammer it down. Jetty. Jetty. He's almost out. It's flush now. All right, so check it out. There's the ball joint. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace this for OEM ball joint. So this is gonna be a two-step process. You do not need to press um, unless you got some aftermarket arms that just won't work out and uh, the tolerances aren't correct. Then um, you should shouldn't need to press. So I already did this on the other side and I confirmed that these arms are just great. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that ball joint out of the freezer. But before we do that, the uh, other step to this whole you know installing the ball joint is some heat we're going to use a propane torch that i have here we're going to heat the metal about a minute or two minutes we're going to get this nice and hot not red hot just enough for it to expand just a little bit so what we're doing here is expanding the metal on the arm and contracting the metal on the ball joint sponsored by squirt well uh, maybe not more moments later all right, that's been about two minutes. So we'll go ahead and grab this ball joint. The ball joint sitting nice next to the fish and the frozen uh, waffles here. Get that in here. So you just need to hurry up, maybe wipe it down with your hand and shove that guy in just like that. So no press. We do have a little bit of a gap, so we're gonna go ahead and pound this in quickly. All right, there it is. Um, I got it in. I can put the C clip in now, wherever the hell it is. I think the OEM arms would have been a lot easier because the OEM arms are uh, thin, thinner gauge metal and you won't have to heat it for as long. So I think if I were to heat this up another two minutes, um, it would have got you know even easier. So it's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put the C clip in and uh, put this back together. All right, so that's that. Once you get the ball joint all in, put it back to the spindle, tighten up the nut and you'll be done. So it's not the hardest, it's not the easiest, but you can do it in your garage. Don't get discouraged because you don't have a, the correct tools or the press. Just some simple, you know, sockets, you know, a vice grip, a hammer, some screwdrivers, a pry bar, and that's really it. And besides taking off the wheel, there's not a lot of tools involved. Um, so that's it for this video. Appreciate you guys for watching as always. And thanks for watching this quick tip. See you guys later.
Come Happy Land in a gumdrop house on Lollipop Lane. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Oh, Jesus Christ. 